both of those fucking people, Anthony Padilla, disassociated idea, idea, whatever the fuck, like, that is so harmful. Imagine, Anthony, imagine someone's like, you don't look like you have depression. Or just get over it. You have money, you're a YouTuber. Claiming you have disassociative identity disorder is not cool excuse to mock people in the community and call them crazy. When did I mock them? All I said was like, yeah, like watching that, I could be like, oh, that girl seems crazy. What a fucking hypocritical moronic piece of shit. And You're on YouTube, guess what? People are entitled to say whatever the fuck they want about your video. It's called freedom of speech. You put something out there, get ready to be fucking criticized, baby. Howdy doody everyone, I hope you all appreciate what I do for you because most of the videos I had to watch on this situation were incredibly painful to sit through. For those of you that don't know, about a month ago Anthony Padilla made a video talking about DID or Dissociative Identity Disorder or as it may be more commonly known as Multiple Personality Disorder. He made this video to help dispel some of the common and dangerous misconceptions people have about the disorder due to how it's commonly associated with the horror trope with movies such as Split where it often shows them to have an alter that is considered violent or evil. The video showed three individuals, one of them being another YouTuber by the name of Disassociated. This included Nin, the host, and her system, of which two made an appearance, Kyle the protector and a little whose name was censored. I'm pointing them out specifically because they were the only ones who got involved in the situation, at least to my knowledge. Trisha Paytas, a YouTuber who's known for being a massive troll, then decided after so many years of hour-long videos with no edits to come out and say that she herself had DID. She made a video where she talked about her alters and spread a ton of misinformation about DID. So let's get into the overall timeline. So this is the timeline to my knowledge. I'm including who I believe to be the major players in the situation, which includes Anthony Padilla, Disney Associated, Trisha Paytas, and Trisha Paytas' girlfriend, and Cena Severa. A person Trisha Paytas brought up in one of her videos that has DID. Also, please keep in mind that I'm in a different time zone, so the dates may be off by a day for some of you. March 4th, Anthony drops the video I spent a day with multiple personalities disassociative identity disorder, where he interviews three systems, one of which being disassociated. During the interview, Kyle, her protector, and one of her littles made an appearance. That will be important for later. March 12th, Trish uploads Meet My Alters, disassociative identity disorder, where she talks about how she may have DID. Keep in mind, I said may because she literally says she has never been diagnosed. Do you have a disorder? Are you diagnosed with something? Are you bipolar? Are you skits out? And I'm like, honestly, I've never been diagnosed with anything. The closest thing that I have self-diagnosed myself, I guess. And that she may not even have it. Maybe that explains a little more. I like to share a little bit more about myself. And this is something that maybe I wasn't even completely understanding of. And not even that I didn't think was even that big of a deal. Like, oh yeah personalities, they have names, um, maybe it's just my imagination, maybe I'm just being creative. In the video she spreads a bunch of misinformation saying things like multiple personality disorder and DID aren't the same thing when they are, describing how she takes aspects of personalities from people she meets, which is something that everyone does. It's normal for your friends or family to rub off on you and affect the way that you act and feel. There's a thing where the Japanese believe that you have three faces, the one you show society, the one you show to people you hold close, and the one only you get to see, or your truest reflection. This is completely different from having DID, and is a very common misconception and why the term DID is more preferred over MPD. DID is quite literally having another consciousness with its own identity occupying your brain. The way Trisha describes her alters appear more like the personification of emotions talking about them in very general terms as in the bad, the innocent, and the sensitive. Also the whole I don't see it as an issue thing, no, that's not how this works. It is an issue. Mental disorders affect people every day. People need to go to professionals, not brush it off. You just want the pity points people think comes with mental illness and not any of the stigma. We aren't looking to be pitied. We just want to be understood. Side note, Trixie is supposed to be 10 and yet she picked this outfit. Today, Trixie decided what we were wearing, and Trixie, even though she's 10, she's pretty mature. Even though she's 10, even though she's 10. That's kind of creepy. Anyway, this begins what will become a very long drop into Shitsville. This is where the timeline gets a little bit difficult because three major events happen in one day. This associated response to Trisha's video as Nin with reacting to Trisha Paytas' Meet My Alters Disassociative Identity Disorder, where she corrects some of the misinformation and keep in mind, never says that Trisha does or does not have DID. 
Anthony makes an Instagram story that calls out Trisha Paytas that someone tweeted out four hours after it had been posted at 11.04 p.m., which means 7.04 a.m. LA time, which means Anthony made the post at 3 a.m. Trisha, or Tyranny, as she'll try to say in another video, responds to said story with a video titled Dear Anthony Padilla, where she acts incredibly aggressive and says that she has been diagnosed. In my, like, I've never, I've never, I've been diagnosed with Keep in mind, this video was posted a day after the video that started this all. You mean to tell me she got fully diagnosed by a professional in one day? Come on. She continues to double down on some of the misinformation. She asks where she was disrespectful, apparently forgetting that she straight up called Nin crazy. She also brings up Split, saying it's just a movie. Huh, it's almost like you don't understand how it's offensive, because you yourself aren't who the movie is attempting to portray and thus don't understand how it's damaging. Strange. She also calls out Anthony's claims of depression out of spite for being questioned herself. Lady, you're known for being a troll, and you're known for being a liar. Well, how are you not surprised? March 17th, Trish uploads my alter switch caught on camera, live footage, disassociative identity disorder, where she showcases her switches. In the introduction, she says Tyranny, the most aggressive of her alters, posted the Dear Anthony Padilla video and blew up and blocked her ex, who was said to be the ex who had DID. The video is still up, by the way, and her ex, I believe, is still blocked, so here she is trying to shift the blame so she doesn't have to take responsibility. I really hate this shit. Mental illness can explain why you do certain things, but it should never be an excuse. I have depression and anxiety, but at the end of the day, my actions are still my actions. This is giving me flashbacks to how people would do the fucking retweet and I won't cut myself for a day thing on Tumblr, and that is gross. It's okay to get help, it's okay to want help, but you should never put that shit on other people. You are your own responsibility. The thumbnail is of her cross side, furthering the idea she's mocking those with DID. In her introduction, she switches from Trisha to Tyranny to Trixie. Technically a little, since she said Trixie was 10. And then, back to Trisha. Somehow none of them questioning why they're in front of a camera, what they're doing, and keeping a consistent conversation to the audience. Also, suspiciously the same order as Nin during her interview. The host to the most spoken about alter to the little. They even act very similarly. The first switch is to an alter that is a little bit louder than the host and curses a lot, and the littles act very similarly, keeping their shoulders up a little bit higher, constantly looking down, being a lot quieter. It's... it's very suspicious. She then switches to a shot to her kitchen where she supposedly switches and suspiciously stays in frame the whole time. When she switches back to Trisha, she then gets taken down by three Doritos and a chewed on fruit roll up. Keep in mind, this woman does mukbangs. Mukbangs? I have no idea how you're supposed to say it. She has demolished dishes worth more than three pitiful Doritos. Also, can someone please tell Trisha what live footage means? March 21st, Disassociated Did uploads Trisha Paytas, The Impact. Disassociated Did, Disassociative Identity Disorder. Where instead of Nin, Kyle is in the front. He talks about how the situation has affected them, and how they and many others have split due to some of Trisha's videos. And before anybody says anything, DID is associated heavily with PTSD due to the intense amount of trauma those with these disorders have faced. Trisha was very aggressive, and I'm not surprised if this affected them. That doesn't make them weak. Soldiers with PTSD have been unable to handle certain forms of media and certain situations because of what they faced, and I'd be lying if I said I myself wasn't affected by Trisha's videos. The way she was acting and talking reminded me a lot of someone who hurt me for many years when I was younger, and I had to ask a friend to watch the videos with me. He addresses how they will be taking a bit of a break due to the situation and because they had just moved. March 22nd, Trisha uploads both Disassociated Did Please Stop Bullying Us and I'm Actually Really Not Okay. These two videos I didn't bother much with because, with an all honesty, she essentially throws herself a pity party. She expresses how she's so shocked people are so focused on her mental health. Honey, you're the one that uploaded about it. Also, Disassociated Did never bullied you. In the two videos they talked about you, Nin corrected you on the misinformation you spread and Kyle talked more of the aftermath. These videos are honestly disgusting at how, when rightfully questioned, you lash out and harm people actually suffering. She also puts a link in the description with the video saying Dissy says she did faking it? I mean, come on, Trish. Come on. Are you fucking serious? March 27th, Edwin's Generations and Encina Severa, Trisha's ex with DID, step into the ring. They upload Trisha Paytas' ex-girlfriend Encina responds disassociative identity disorder interview. God, I'm... <laughs> Oh god, why does everybody have to put disassociative identity disorder? Like, I understand that that's what it's about, 
But why can't you just put DID? It's so hard to constantly keep saying disassociative. God, why do I suck at talking? Dissociative. Edwin interviews Encina, asking questions to correct more of the misinformation Trisha talked about, their relationship, her own experiences with DID, and how the video affected her and her alters. Halfway through, one of Encina's alters, Elora, makes an appearance talking about how she found the video offensive and answering more questions in Encina's place. March 28th, Encina uploads reaction to my ex, Trisha Paytas, contradictions, disassociative identity disorder. Let's talk. She talks about the video where Trisha shows her switches caught on camera and points out contradictions from when she knew her and her overall behavior as someone with experience with DID. They further talk about how the video is in fact offensive. That concludes the timeline, at least from what I found. If you want to see all the videos, I'll be leaving links in the description. So I found out about this after completing the whole script and I didn't know where else to put it, so I'm putting it here. So now there's a theory going around that Trisha is making alternate accounts and posting videos claiming that Disassociated is faking her disorder. It just keeps getting worse and worse. The only channel I've seen talked about is one named Tatiana, now renamed Tatiana. She's posted more videos since the initial videos made on her, and I'm pretty sure that this isn't Trisha Paytas. This is just a Trisha Paytas wannabe who wants to be famous for being an awful person and is attempting to profit off the situation. I suggest ignoring her and moving on. This whole situation is just gross. There are so many contradictions in terms of what Trisha has said, what she has done, and people's experiences with her. She says she talks about how she has BPD, yet says she's never been diagnosed. She says that she's been diagnosed with traits, even though that doesn't make any sense at all. You don't get diagnosed with traits, you get diagnosed or you don't. There are traits that can be identified. If you don't believe me, take it from Mental Health Master, another YouTuber who made videos on the situation. He did two videos reviewing and reacting to Trisha Paytas' videos where she was talking about DID and supposedly switching. I highly recommend them, they're a good watch. This just reminds me way too much of how people seem to think that having a mental illness means you have a personality. It doesn't. It's not like a superpower, Trisha. I know it was an analogy, but it didn't even make sense. You don't sign up for the X-Men school. Xavier finds them when they discover their powers so they don't end up in danger of getting captured or killed by the government. Unlike what 13 Reasons Why seems to think, you are not defined by your mental disorder. It is undeniably a part of you, but it is not you. If you notice traits, go to a doctor. Don't do this self-diagnose bullshit. It is so dangerous and harmful, not just to others who actually suffer from it, but also to yourself. I know it's scary, but you need to take care of yourself both mentally and physically. Everyone deserves a chance at a good life. Mental health means a lot to me. I've struggled with it, gotten medication, I've gone to therapy sessions that failed miserably, but I'm still trying. A lot of my family and friends struggle with it too. I may go in depth about my experiences in another video, as some are really personal and difficult to talk about. Also, Trisha, get some help. None of this is healthy. You need real help. Not your YouTube audience, not your Twitter, not your Instagram, but real, legitimate help. This is wrong, and I think deep down you know that. And before people try to say it's a troll act, that makes this even more disgusting. I'm of the opinion you can joke about anything. However, if you're done shoving more fried food down your throat, you can take a moment to learn what taste is. You've hurt people. You've hurt an entire community, fighting so much stigma and trying hard to combat so much fear-mongering bullshit so that they can have a good life. And you did it all for what? Clout? You seriously need to get some help because this is honestly despicable. To all of you with DID or any other kind of disorder, please note that we are here for you. There's a community now that wants to keep you all safe, happy, and healthy. Please do not be afraid to get a diagnosis and get the proper help that you need and deserve. We've got your backs. To help lighten the mood, how about we have a fan art feature? The first piece is fan art, smiley face, from Toaster Tune, and it is adorable. Loving me some of them purplish pink highlights, and I love the detail of me having a little fang. I actually have kind of sharp teeth in real life. In real life, my teeth are actually kind of sharp, but I also have kind of bunny teeth. I have an overbite. I look, I've, I've been told I look like a rabbit. I'm not kidding. The second pieces are actually from my old buddy, Karma Buddy. I'm loving the suit and the poses. Getting Phoenix Wright vibes from the one where I'm yelling the now classic, I'm the evidence boy line. 
And the final piece is from Babby Time MF. I don't know if it's supposed to be Baby Time Motherfucker. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. By Clown Kisser, where they drew me with my sword and little mushroom baby Simon. I love this piece so much. You drew me so cool looking, and <sighs> I can't resist my happy mushroom boy. I love it so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for these wonderful pieces. Special thank you to Mad Libs for helping me with scripting and watching the videos with me. Hey yo guys, I got a Discord server. There is now a chat in there where you can suggest certain things that you want me to talk about or certain things you want me to look into or whatever. I'm possibly also gonna have a Q&A session at one point because we hit 3,000 subscribers and that is just, thank you guys so much. It's absolutely insane that we managed to reach this far. It's, it's, it's crazy, <laughs> but thank you all so much. This is farewell for now, my little monsters. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will be seeing you all in whatever the hell pops up next. Bye!